Still they keep coming, in their thousands. Syrians, Afghans, Iraqis. Free, welcome. Welcome, welcome. If you want, welcome. And still generous, the Greek activists who've toiled here for months. But for others, these fleeing people are a business opportunity. Everybody here has the same objective, and that is to get out of Greece as fast as they possibly can. But the road ahead is fraught with difficulty. That's where organised crime comes in. A vast industry preying on these people's vulnerability. The journey north can be over 2,000 miles, taking weeks with thousands of others across several borders. To avoid the trials of the refugee road, many turn to the criminal gang selling fake European IDs in the Greek capital. Through refugee contacts, we were led to a Sudanese named Ahmed. He told us he could supply fake passports to fly directly to Northern Europe and claim asylum there. With the passport comes a plane ticket and guaranteed money back if you fail to get through. If all that's too expensive, just send Ahmed a photo, pay 200 euro, and you get a fake European identity card. The following day, our undercover reporter met Ahmed to receive a Spanish ID card. Good for flying north, he said. <laughs> This was the card produced in under eight hours. Watching from nearby, we emerged to confront the trafficker. From BBC News, we'd like to know why you are selling false identity papers to people. He has shown us what you have sold him. We know what you are doing. You, sir, are a crook. You're a criminal. No, I am not criminal. Yes, you are. No, I am not criminal. You are engaged in criminal activity. He was just changing money, he said. But are these any good? Where will they take you? Well, we've discovered they can take you here, to the very heart of the European Union. There's no knowing how many get through. People do get stopped. It can be a matter of luck. But we've spoken with several who've flown successfully to Northern Europe. This man from Latakia, now in Brussels, described approaching the airplane gate security at Athens with a fake Italian ID. I passed him and I gave it my identity card and the ticket and I just, he said, nice trip, sir. I said, thanks. And I just walked like nothing happened. It was really, and five person, five, five police officers in front of me, so they didn't notice anything. And I just go and take my place in Athens. So, it was as easy as that? No, not easy. I, actually, my heart was top, top, top. I just won the cash. Back in Athens, Greek police acknowledge they face an uphill struggle against the smugglers. The organised crime squad recently broke up a large Pakistani gang. This is part of their haul. Dozens of fake documents, including 30 British passports, and sophisticated forging equipment that can also produce credit cards. All of this can be used not just by refugees or migrants, but also by terrorists. Because of what's happening in the Middle East, the number of migrants has increased, and that's led to the creation of new criminal organizations. They make very believable documents with digital devices. Once we finish an operation, we immediately start another to find the new crime syndicates. This human disaster is boom time for organized crime. They'll keep making their millions, while war guarantees a relentless supply of the uprooted and desperate. They follow the news avidly, and those who would talk to us were full square behind the leadership. He says he hopes BBC News reports the parade so that the people of the world know how we celebrate this glorious day. So this is the cockpit of Vulcan XH-558. 
it's fairly small and the view isn't fantastic. Martin, just give us a quick whip round and tell us